Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to the final episode of Windbreaker. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, so no opening today. Okay. Right? I mean, they're like high on the food chain. Sakura! God dang you pretty. The f Like seriously, I was sitting over here last week thinking they were they women. No, but he pretty though. Well, <laughs> and he's wearing a skirt and everything. Is he wearing heels too? If he does, I support. Like, he's 10 out of 10. He's already the best character. And he's so tall too. Oh my god. Makes sense. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. You know, talk. Get to know each other. Oh, you're very quiet. He kind of gives me Chad vibes from Bleach. And I can't say that for a lot of guy characters in anime. Damn. Okay, so that sucks. I wanted to see more about the Aubrey person with his Aubrey hair and his red and black hair. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't know who he was voiced by. Also, I'm hungry. I think I'm going to eat those last two pieces of pizza after this. Mm. 
Yeah. Hmm? Oh. And who the hell are they? What in the hell is it, this cult looking type of guy? Skeletons? Kill. What they do? They kill for fun or some shit? I mean, yeah, you can tell they're a gang, but, like... (gasps) This is why he got hurt last week. Yo, what the fuck was that? You can't do show. Oh my god. No, you can't do that. That is some bullshit. No, no, no. You think these boys were born yesterday? <laughs> he he over here like yes, you all are boo boo the fool. Are you serious? Right? I mean, obviously they did. You're just hiding it. Don't fucking hide it. Yeah, you weren't the guy that they were look he was looking for. Right? But why doesn't he wanna tell anybody? I mean at least tell your head because then like he could de- get some shit done. Yes, like I I mean no offense. Yes, I want my baby daddy to be up in this show a little bit more because he's just like, you know, here when necessary, when he's needed and shit. But seriously (laughs) I get that. Everyone's like that. I'm like that sometimes. But You're his friends, and he needs to rely on you. Right? 
I mean, seriously. Like, I know you want to be your Sakura slash Kyo self, but I need you to be a little bit more Megumin-ish, even though Megumin is kind of really, like, the same. But Megumin is friendly! Toward Terjuji and, and Nobara. <laughs> It all look good. Yeah. It's okay if he goes off on his own. Okay, so your friend is a part of Keel, and you want to bring him back. Oh, th this is a good arc to end on, okay? But you need to rely on them. No. And what if you get killed? Right. And it was him. It was him. It was him. It was him. That's because he bought back friends. Because mm -hmm. he just wants to bear the burden by himself. <laughs> well, she's upset about the situation, damn it!
Right? When there's a will, there is a line. <laughs> mm. Kill. Well, now he's in it, so it is his business. Girl, this shit going like a damn dung and rope case. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And you went after him. Found out it was your best friend. But see, you did something wrong. You shouldn't have gone by yourself. You should have went with others. At least for extra protection and precaution.
and that cry is a cry for help. Even though he's like, he's saying that he doesn't want help and he doesn't need help. The shaking, the look in his eyes, the tears. With you, dum-dum. You can't do it by yourself, dumbass. We know. You have no choice. Okay, and you're a classmate, but also a friend. Honestly, I think that's not a, a bad place to end it. it. It's a really good place, but like, oh, we know. <laughs> And the show was already confirmed for a second season. I literally found out while I was doing something else. But, no, final thoughts on this show. This was really fucking good. I mean, I'm glad that I took a chance, the initiative, to watch this. Because, I mean, yes, I heard, like, between the first two or three episodes, I heard really good things about this. And I was like, mm, maybe I'll watch it when it's done. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a Patreon request and such. But because the one show I was watching was really, really repetitive and um, a little on the boring side, I was just like, you know what, I need something to just like kick it up a notch. And this was the one thing that I was looking for and such. Yes, the cast is like freaking top, top fucking tier, like out of all. I mean, yeah, you had favorites, well-known voice actors that I've seen in oblons of things, numerous things that, you know, they're known for so many different freaking characters and such, it's not even funny, to people who are probably brand new to me that I've never heard anything in, or that I have, that I just have not done the research for just yet. Um, I think everybody really, for Say You Was, was a very shining contender. Now, so I mean, because Sakura, because duh, that's fucking kill and that can mean, and there's one more that I'm thinking of that I, um, that he's voiced that I loved in so much and I literally cannot remember his name because it's because the funny thing is him and freaking dude who plays freaking uh Yuji from JJK before they did JJK they were in that show together and they were playing polar opposites and such and so I thought it was so cute but no he did a damn good job especially being a character who is 
the headliner. When you literally think of Windbreaker, you're initially probably going to think of Sakura as initially, or, you know, Uyama or anyone. But no, I really enjoyed, like, him as, like, a main character. The role was very interesting. There was never a point where, when I was watching this, where I felt, like, repetitive or bored. I was very interested in this. Like, I love, once again, the fight scenes, the choreo. Uh, <laughs> the choreography was just very top tier. It also gave me, like, choreograph-wise, like, feels to, like, any other show that I've seen where, like, I could say, like, Demon Slayer or even anything Fate-related to it where it's just top tier, but it's, like, it it's in its own category. Because, like, once again, like, Demon Slayer and Fate, th those two shows are, like, in the top, top of the top, especially because who was animating that? Now, Cloverworks, I mean, God, my history with Cloverworks, Jesus. Um, Cloverworks has some good and some bad animes, but no, I think they really, I think when they really got, like, the rights for this and everything, I think they saw, like, that diamond in the rough for this show. They were like, we're going to take this. And we're just going to enhance this by a thousand. And I think they did a damn good job on this. This was like just a really good contender. Probably for anime of the season. Maybe even anime of the, of the year possibly. I'm not 100% sure. Because there is something in the summer season. That I, I can already see. It's probably going to be anime of the year for a lot of people. Especially the, um, the hype that this show. Not only this show. But the other show that's coming out. Um, sometime next week that I am watching, <laughs> it, it, it's been all over freaking Instagram, Twitter, um, TikTok. I have not seen it on Tumblr yet, but every single time when I see it, like, <laughs> what, once you hear the song for it, you cannot get it out of your head. And that's literally what happened a couple of weeks ago. I literally watched like a, what, two hour or three hour compilation video of it. And I was just like. I, I can't get it out. But no, this was good. I do kind of wish that, you know, at the beginning, certain characters who were there, the guy who kind of looks like Maki, the guy who was wearing, who has the ombre black and red hair, I really do hope that when we do get season two eventually next year, that those two eventually do get a speaking role. Because it's like, you're showing all these good, grand, interesting characters, and you're introducing this situation about Kiel, and we're not seeing this shit till next year. And who knows when the heck that's going to be. That's any time from freaking winter to freaking fall. That's any freaking time. And so that, like, I love that. But then I also hate that because I, I, I okay. Once again, if you know me, I am impatient as fuck. Even with job applications, I am impatient. Like, I need to know ASAP. Like, I, I just want to know. I am curious. But am I going to read the manga for this? No. As much as I want to know, I'm going to keep it on the down low, keep it hush hush, try to avoid spoilers as best as I can. Um, because I feel like this next second season, this season is going to like up the stakes. Like, do I think we're going to get a point to where like in season two somebody possibly dies? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure on that. Anything initially could really happen, but we gotta wait and see. Even though like... Once again, inquiring minds want to fucking know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards the entirety of season one of Windbreaker. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matcha Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all, well, um, tomorrow or this weekend for the start of Suicide Squad Isekai. Of course, next week for the continuation slash start of Summer Anime, the continuation of some of the last spring shows that I do have. I only, as of today, not counting these two that are officially finished, I think I have, like, I think two, three or four more left before we're done. I know, like, two more end tomorrow. Um, and, okay, yeah. Two more in tomorrow, two more in this weekend, and then my last two that I'll initially have, which will be, of course, Whisper Me a Love Song and Season 2 of Misfit will be ending in the next couple of weeks. At least, like, two or three weeks from tomorrow and Saturday. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!